Hello, I am Ms. Bonga. Today I'm going to introduce you the lesson about, uh, this is a grammar structure, about the adverbs of quantity, also called quantifiers. So, the aim of this lesson is at making the distinction between adverbs expressing uh, countable quantity and those expressing an uncountable one. So, they are called quantifiers. So, in this lesson, it is easy in French, concerning quantifier in French, we say just beaucoup, beaucoup de gens, beaucoup d'eau. In French, it's quite easy. You have just one generic word, un seul mot, beaucoup. But in English, to express beaucoup, there are plenty of them. But at what moment should we use them? So, we have a grid here. So let me draw this grid, and then we are going to see uh, which one is countable and which one is not. So in this grid, like this, excuse me, just a few minutes, like this, here we have items. We have items, okay? We have countable, countable things, countable things. Here we have uncountable, uncountable, uncountable one, uncountable well, things, like this. So, they turn it like this, like that. Like this, we can start writing like a dog. We have water, we have car. Uh, let's continue like this, okay? Like that, like this. Oh, I hope I'm drawing, I'm drawing very well. And like that, let's stop here, for example. Here we have items, it is about quantifiers. We have countable things and an countable one. So the, <clears throat> the first example is dog. The second one is water. And the third one is car. We have person, person, the person. We have salt, salt. We have bottle, the bottle. We have rice, rice here. What else? We have pen, a pen. We have coffee, coffee. Okay, let's stop here. What you are going to do is just to tick. You are going to tick what is countable and what is uncountable. So here we have dog, a dog in the singular. We have water, we have car, person, salt, butter, rice, pen, coffee. So what you are going to do just to tick. So starting with dog, can we count dog? or not? We can say one dog, two dogs. So here, we tick here, so it means that dogs, or dogs are countable, or a dog is something we can count, like this. When we come down, we see water. We cannot count water, because when we drink some water, we cannot say one water, two water. So water, it is uncountable. The third one is water. What about water? What? No, it is car. Excuse me. It is car. What about car? Yes. You see cars. We can say one car, two cars, three cars. So it means that we can count them. So in car, we tick here. So we come down to person. Can we count the number of person? Yes. In the classroom, 
we can count one pupil, two pupils, three pupils, and so on. It means that we can count persons. So we tick here. The next one is salt. What about salt? When you cook at home, do you count each grain of salt to say one grain and so on? Oh no, otherwise it will take you all your lifetime. That's why salt, here it is uncountable. You cannot count. So when we come down to the bottle, the bottle, bottle of water, bottle of, I don't know, maybe beer and so on. So bottle, we can count one bottle, two bottles and so on. So here we can tick bottle, yes, Countable, among countable things. The next one is rice. What about rice? Can we count rice? When you eat at home, you say, I'm eating one, two, three. No, I think it is not possible. So rice, it is uncountable. So rice, it is among, among uncountable things. So next time we go, the, ne the next one is pen. Yes, pen is quite easy. One pen, two pens, and so on. Okay, it is among countable. And the last one here, it is coffee. Coffee. When you drink, coffee is something you drink. Sometimes every day, depends on the culture. There are some culture that every day they drink coffee. But can we count? No, we cannot count coffee because it is liquid. We cannot count liquid. So coffee, it is unaccountable. So we take here, it is unaccountable. So here you see in these items, we have dogs, water, car, person, salt, bottle, rice, pan, coffee. So you see dogs, we can count. Water, we cannot count. Purse, cars, yes, we can count. Person, we can count. Salt, it is unaccountable. Rice, also. Rice, it is unaccountable. And the next one, pen, yes, we can count. The number of pen. And coffee, we cannot count. The coffee we drink. So this is the first activity. Now, what we are going to see, we are going to observe how it works. So here, I'm going to write, let's take note, it is about to observe, we are going to observe, analyze, analyze, and to conclude, about, conclude, about quantifier. So here, we are going to see some examples. So that will enable us to observe, analyze, and conclude our lesson. So the first example, example one. Example one, the church is overcrowded. The church is overcrowded. Overcrowded. The church is overcrowded. Comma. I can see, I can see, I can see many, many cars, 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 in the plural, cars, in the yard, in the yard. In the yard. This is our first example. So the next one, number two, it is the exam was so tough that only few pupils passed it. The exam, the exam was so tough, was so tough, was so tough. That's only, that only few pupils, few 
pupils. Few pupils. We have pupils here, like this. Past it. Past. Past it. Full stop. This is the second one. Okay. Well, we are finished with uh, so we come down to uh, the example three only only like this yes number three it is uh, I admire Janet a lot because she drinks much water I admire I admire Janet a lot because 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 she drinks much water. She drinks much water. 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 So here we have water. It is like this. Like this. Okay. Full stop. Number four. Uh, number four, there is a little salt in the kitchen. Go and take it. There, there is a little, little salt, salt in the kitchen, in the kitchen. In the kitchen, go and take it. Go and take it. Go and take it. Full stop. So, go and take it. Salt. Here we have also salt. Where is salt? Yes. Here is it. Salt. Okay, here about this observation, what can we see here? The first example is the church is overcrowded. I can see many cars in the yard. Two, the exam was so tough that only few pupils passed it. Three, I admire Janet a lot because she drinks much water. Four, there is a little salt in the kitchen. Go and take it. Go and take it. Like this. So, about quantifier. Well, who can show me quantifier in the first exercise? In the first exercise, the quantifier is what? Is Many. Let's underline many. Many. So, many is a quantifier and car is the noun. It is in the board. Board means gras en français. In the example two, the exam was so tough that only few pupils passed it. Where is the quantifier in this exercise? So we can add a line. So the quantifier is few. Example three, I admire Janet a lot because she drinks much water. Here, what is the quantifier? The quantifier is much. Much is a quantifier in this exercise. At last, number four, there is a little salt in the kitchen. Go and take it. There is a little salt in the kitchen. Go and take it. So where is the quantifier? The quantifier here is a little. So from this observation, so you see that the quantifier, we have underlined them. We have many, we have few, we have much and we have a little. So, what comes next in the board? 
these nouns. We have cars. Here we have cars. We have pupils. We have water. We have salt. And we have, yes, the last one is salt. So this is our observation. So we are going to write about the analyze. To analyze this one, analyze, yeah, let's analyze it here. To analyze like this. So it is said the underlined words, the underlined words you see here, many, few, much, little, underlined words are quantifiers of adverbs of quantity. They are adverbs of quantity. And those in bold are noun. In bold, here, as I told you in French, c'est gras, like cars. We have cars. Here we have pupils. We have water. And we have salt. So this is what we are going to write in our analyze. So the underline, the and uh, Lined, the underlined words are words are quantifiers, are quantifiers, are quanti, sorry, are quantifiers, are quantifiers or adverbs of quantities or Adverb of quantity. Quantity. And those in bold, as I told you, cars, pupils, water, salt, and those, and those, and those in bold, in. Bold, bold means gras, French, are nouns, are nouns, full stop. This is the analyze. So, among the nouns, there are some which can be countable among, sorry, among, among the nouns, among the nouns, there are some, there are some, there are some which can be, which can be, which can be counted, counted, sorry, counted. So, from this exercise, what can be counted? Let's see. As we said, can we count cows? Yes, we have cows. We can say one, two, three cows. In example two, we have uh, pupils. Yes, one pupil, two pupils, three pupils. We can count them. So, let's write them. So, we have cows, cows, and and pupils. Oh, pupils. Okay. So, it is said, the underlined words are quantifiers or adverbs of quantity, or adverbs of quantity, adverbs of quantity, and those, and, excuse me, sorry, sorry, and, Sorry, and those in bold are nouns, are nouns. Among the nouns, there are some which can be countable. So we say among those which can, which can be countable, we say cars and pupils. So this is the first analyze. So the next one we have here. So... It is a, and others, and, 
and 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 others others and others that cannot that cannot that cannot that cannot that we cannot that no we cannot that we cannot sorry that we cannot that we cannot and other that we cannot count where are them here we have in our example what we cannot count we have water we have water water we have water which is as a liquid as liquid and and what and there are a little salt and salt the salt we cannot count it here is it so this is the analyze so as we said we come to the conclusion after the analyze so the conclusion 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 so our conclusion says that in a in a dash we use or use the use many we use or we use many we use many that means in french beaucoup in french just beaucoup but in english it depends so beaucoup Bo beaucoup sorry beaucoup 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 like this before a plural a plural before a plural countable noun countable 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 before a plural countable noun before a plural countable noun to show to show to show this is to show an important quantity an important quantity an important quantity quantity an important quantity so the illustration we see in the example 1 prefer the example when you see the example number 1 so in the example number 1 we use many <coughs> that means beaucoup in french a plural countable noun to show an important quantity so that's why you see here the church is overcrowded i can see many cars so cars here it is in the plural cars so in b b we use few few that means french peu de peu de peu de or a few a few a few a few that means quelques in french en français quelques 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 before a plural countable noun before before a plural a plural countable countable before a plural countable noun so this one we'll see it later in the illustration when we'll deal with our exercise the evaluation you will see the word few and a few so this is to show 
countable noun to show a reduce. This is to show a reduce to show a reduce to show a reduce. This is to show a reduced quantity. A reduced quantity. Reduced quantity. A reduced quantity. So you refer to the example number two. So refer to the example number two. The first one was the example number one. So here we come to the example number two. What is it? Number one. So here is it. So we go to C and we will finish with the D. We come to match. 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 Match here is used is used, match here, is used before a singular, before a singular, before a singular, before a singular, an accountable noun to express a great quantity. A singular, an accountable, and countable, Countable noun, unaccountable before, unaccountable noun to express a great quantity. To express, to express a great quantity, a great quantity. To express a great quantity. So this one would refer to the example three. You see water, it is in singular, no S. So we refer to the example number three. At last, we come to the conclusion D. It is with little, little D, little, which means in French, Peu de, peu de, and a little, and a lit little, which means in French, un peu de, un peu de, un peu, un peu de. Un peu de. So here, little convi, little convi, it convi, the idea of, the idea of, the idea of a reduced, a reduced quantity, of a reduced quantity before a singular and accountable noun. A reduce quantity, a reduce quantity, a reduce quantity, a reduced quantity before, before a singular, a singular, a singular, and accountable, and countable, sorry. Like this, yes. Unaccountable, unaccountable noun. Full stop. Here we refer to the example number three. Here, number, number, sorry, number four. The last one, number four. Sort. We refer to the example number four. Okay. You see, here, as we say, to draw the conclusion, so we say in A, we use many, which means beaucoup in French. <clears throat> we use many, beaucoup, a, a plural, countable noun. Is it like that? Excuse me, let me check. 
As we say, to draw our conclusion here, we see A, we use many, that means beaucoup, before, sorry, before, it is before, before a plural countable noun. Before, you see here in example one, many cars. We can count cars, one car, two cars, three cars. The conclusion two, when you see the observation two, we use few, peu de, or a few. That means the French, quelque. Before a plural countable noun, to show a reduced quantity. When there is a reduced quantity, we use few. We are going to see it during our evaluation. We don't have it here. So, in C, we come to match. Match is used before a singular, unaccountable noun to express a great quantity. So, when you drink a lot of water, can you count them? Can you count water? No, you cannot count water. So, it is a great quantity. That's why we use match. So, match is used before a singular, unaccountable noun. So we refer to the example three. Here we have, I admire Janet a lot before because she drinks much water because we cannot count water we drink. That's why we have much. So to come to the last conclusion, it is D, we come to little, peu de. That means peu de and a little, un peu de convey the idea of a reduced quantity before a singular and accountable noun. So when the, the quantity is small, we use little. When there is a great quantity that we cannot count, then we can use much. So this is what we have seen. So we come here, we will come down. So here we have already seen. So to come back here for the summary, it is quite simple. As we have already ticked, we say the item, the item we have here, we have dogs, water, car, person, sort, bottle, rice, pen, and coffee. We say countable things and unaccountable. We say dog, we can count dogs, we can say one dog, two dogs, three dogs. Water, so unaccountable. So we cannot count water as we say it. We have cars, we have person that we can count, salt, we cannot, neither count salt, because when you use salt in your meal, you cannot say one grain of salt, two grains, no, you cannot do it. That's why we use, we use uh, much or depending, it can, it can be a little, depending on the quantity you use. So this, we come to the end of our, our activity. So. What we are going to do here, I'm going to make the conclusion about the knot. Let me clean the blackboard. Uh, so, it's going to be the structure of what we have studied. So, the structure, it will be the structure. So, from all that we have already studied. So, to summarize this, we can use this structure as simple as possible, we have many, many. At what moment can we use many? So many plus plural, plus plural, countable nouns, countable, sorry, countable, countable noun. So plus plural, countable, Nouns, yes, like this. And uh, after many, we have much. Much, at what moment we use much? So, much plus singular. Singular, the singular, singular, and countable, and Countable, singular, match is, sorry, match plus singular, and accountable. And countable, 
sorry, and countable, and countable, and countable nouns. So the next one here, we have a little, a little, a little, the little, we use it plus the singular, plus the singular, and countable nouns, and countable, and countable nouns. The last one is a few, a few, a few, a few, a few plus plural, plural countable, plus plural countable, countable nouns. So, this is the structure. If you want to use as simple as, sim as simple as you can see in the, the exercise we have already studied. So you can make the summary that when we use many, many, sorry, many plus the plural countable nouns, we use much plus singular and countable nouns. We use a little plus singular and countable nouns and a few plus plural countable nouns. So now we are going to see our exercise. So the first exercise, it is here. This is the first exercise. The first exercise. This is the first one. And here we have the second one. In the first exercise, we are going to fill the blanks, fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks with much, many, few, a few, little, or a little. So example one, in the north part of Congo, there is timber or wood. Two, children should drink milk every day for a better growing. Three, very, it is up to you to give the answer. Very. Politicians are honest and fair nowadays. Exercise four. As there are people, it is better to start the meeting. Exercise five. Only athletes have come because of the weather. Exercise six. Sorry. Sorry, I just have, I don't know, it's up to you, money left. I can help you. Number seven, your son drinks milk. That, that's, that is why he has growth problems. The last one, don't worry, I have money. I can afford it. So it's up to you to give the answer. The first one, you must use <clears throat> those quantifiers. The quantifiers we have here, we have much, many, few, a few, little, or a little. In, no, in the north part of Congo, there is, there is what? What should we use? Timber. Can we count timber or wood? In the north part of Congo, you know that we have the rainforest, biggest one that covers Congo, Gabon, Cameroon, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. You have the Central Africa Republic, so huge. Can we, can we count each, each, each tree? It is not possible. So this one is like a generic word. We have timber, timber means wood. So here, we use much, much. So in the north part of Congo, there is much timber or wood. This is the best 
answer. So, in the exercise two, children should drink milk every day for a better growing. Milk. Milk. Children should drink milk. What should we use here? Children should drink uh, what? Is it many? Can we count milk? No, we cannot count milk. So we use uh, much. Use uh, much. We cannot count the milk. So here, children should drink much milk every day for a better growing. Sorry. Growing. Like this. Exercise three. Very politician. Very politician. Very politician. Are honest and fair nowadays. Very politician. Very politician. What can you use here? Very politician? What is the best answer according to you? What is the best answer? Let's say very much or very many. Very many or very much? No. I'm not sure that we can use much. We say politician, it is in the plural. So what can we use? As we said in our conclusion, since this one it is in the plural, what can we use? Many? No. We use few. Peu. In French, very few politicians are honest and fair nowadays. Number four, uh, there are people, it is better to start the meeting. People, can we count people? Yes, we can count. One, two, three. So what can we use? Much? Few? No. We use uh, many. Is many. We use uh, many. So we can say, excuse me, many. We can say, as there are many people, it is better to start the meeting. We come down to the exercise five. Only athletes have come because of the weather. You see here, the noun here is athlete. It is in the plural. What can we use? So you also see, you must see the semantic of the sentence because it depends on the context of the sentence. So what is the context of this sentence? It is said only athlete. What can we use? Many, because athlete is a noun, it is in the plural. Many or few? because of the weather. So here, we use few. Only few athletes have come because of the weather. We don't know, maybe it was raining. That's why small, few of them came. Depends on the weather here. So the context is here, it is the weather. So number six, sorry, I just have money left. I can help you. You know, with money. What kind of adverbs can we use? Money. Sorry, I just have... What? I, sorry, I just have... Money. Much or little? So here we use... I just have... Little. Little. I just have... Little money. Left, I can help you. Just little money. That's why he cannot help you. Number seven, your son drinks milk. That's why, that's, that is why he has growth problems. He has growth problems. What is the growth? To growth. He has growth problems. So why? So why your son drinks? So, here it is about milk again. We say that milk we cannot count. So what kind of adverbs can we use here? It's a little or much? 
So your son drinks milk. Your son drinks milk. That's why he has growth problem. When you see the context of this, this sentence, it means that there is a problem. So the problem is what? We use little. It means that your son doesn't drink, he, he doesn't drink much, much, much milk. So he just he, he drinks little milk. That's why he has a growth problem or he has growth problems. In number eight, this is the last one, yes. Don't worry, I have money. I can afford it. Here, I don't worry, I have money, I can afford it. I can afford it. So, don't worry. You don't have to worry. So, what kind of adverb can we use here? So, we use uh, much. Because you say, don't worry, I have much money, I can afford it. So, since he said, don't worry, it means that he has enough money. So, he can afford it. So, here we use uh, much. So, from this exercise, from this exercise, we see the quantifier we have used. Here it is much, 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 few, few, after few, we have many, we have few again, we have little, we have little, and we have much. So these are the best answers. So we are going to move to the second one, which is exercise two. So here in this exercise, you have the, the correct, the, the mystic contained in each sentence. There is a mystic in each of these, each of these, uh, these sentences. So it is up to you to find them. So here, the first, the first, the first sentence is, there is a little hapo in the basket. Everybody can have one. So, if it were the baccalaurea, what you should do to save time, you just write one, two, and so on. You write the answer. So here, I'm going to clean this part. I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean this part so we can correct the second exercise. So, the second exercise, we are going to write the answers here because we cannot use, otherwise it's going to be difficult to see. So, okay, finished. Okay, your answers, here we are going to write our answers. Answers will be here. So, quite easy. We just write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, since we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if we find the correct answer, we write it here. What we are going to do, just we can underline or, I don't know, uh, like this, sorry, like this. Okay, so the first answer, so the first exercise, there, there is a little apples in the basket. Everybody can have one. What is the mistake? The mistake is always about the quantifier. Here, the quantifier, what is the quantifier? Here, the quantifier is a little. So, the quantifier used here is the little. Why little? Is it correct? Because when you see the quantifier, it quantifies the name, the noun, excuse me, the noun here is apple. We have apple. Apple is in the plural. Can we count apple or we cannot count? You know, apple, a, an apple is a fruit. Can we count it or we cannot count? We can say one apple, two apples, three apples. So we can count. 
It means that here the answer, this one is false. This one is false. Here we use there is a few apple in the basket. Everybody can have one. So we can use instead of instead of little, we use a few because a few it stands for a small quantity that we can count. So here we use few. So if we use few, how can we read it? There is few apples in the basket. Everybody can have one. Okay, it's correct because we can count them. We come to two. Number two, his resume is not rich. It does doesn't interest few businessmen. So when you see the context of this sentence, his resume is not rich. It does not interest few. Few businessmen. So businessman is the noun. So the, the quantifier here, it is few. It quantifies business. Businessman, it is the plural. Because the singular is businessman. Here we talk about businessmen. So we can count businessmen. Okay? What can we use here? Instead of few, we can use, instead of use, we use many. So when we read this sentence, we have his resume is not rich. It doesn't interest. Many businessmen. You see, the sense is correct. You see, the semantics is correct. Okay, we have finished with uh, the sentence three, well, two, excuse me. We come down to the sentence three. So the sentence three, it is said, a few boy were polite. That's why I didn't punish them. Here it's punish. Didn't punish them. What is the mistake here? So, when you see a few boys were polite, that's why I didn't punish them. Can you see? So, here, the mistake is not the quantifier, because few, we say that we, can, we use few for small quantity. Okay? So, here, we see boy, it is in the singular. Or few, when we see our uh, structure, it is say... When we come back to our structure, few plus plural nouns. So the plural noun, what about boy? Is it, is it in singular or in the plural? It is in singular. So the mistake is here. So here we write S. So here the mistake was about boy. Instead of boy, it is boys. So exercise four. Put a few ink in the box to avoid wasting it. Put a few ink. So here it is also very important to know the uh, meaning of the sentence. So what is ink? This is what you should know in order to, to know whether the quantifier is correct or not. So what is the ink? So when you write at, in school, when you are or at home, when you write with a paper, you use the pen. So, what, what is inside the pen when you write? So, what comes down, what you write, it is called in English the ink. The ink, when you write something like this, when you have a word, you're writing a word, what you are writing, the writing you are writing, it is called the ink, the item, it is the ink. So, here the ink, it is a put a few ink in the box to avoid wasting it. So here, the mistake is here. It is the quantifier. A few ink. So ink, we cannot count. It is liquid. Since it is liquid, what can we use? Instead of a few, we can say put a little ink. So here, we write a little. Little. Put a little ink in the box to avoid Wasting it. So, exercise five. 
how many do you weigh? The weight. It is about, we are talking about the weight. The weight. So, here, as you say, like, how much, how many, we cannot use many. So, here, the mistake is here. Here, we use much. So, we can say, how much do you weigh? It is about your weight, your body weight. Depends. So, number six, tell my sister to cook many right, for there will be much guest. So, here, when you say very well, tell my sister to cook many rice. The rice. Can you count the rice? We say, at the beginning, that rice, we cannot count it. Since we cannot count it, what can we use? The mistake is here. It is here, about the quantifier. What can we use? Tell my sister to cook. We use much. Much. Much rice. Much rice. For there will be much guest. You know the guest. When you have a birthday, you invite people. They are called guests. So can you count them or you cannot count them? In this exercise six, we say, we said, tell my sister to cook much rice for there will be much guest. No, guest, we can count guests. When you have a birthday, you invite people, people come to your birthday. You can say one guest, two guests. Since the word, the noun guest is in the plural, so we use many. So here we have two, two mistakes in the, this sentence. We also have many. So number seven, give them the few coffee I bought yesterday from the supermarket. The coffee. But the coffee, can we count them? It depends. So here, give them the few coffee, it's not the, the liquid. This must be maybe, I don't know, maybe in the package. Give them the few, but we cannot count, we can count it. So here, the mistake is about the quantifier. What can we use here? Give them the little. Maybe there is a big one. They say little. The little. The little. Give them the little coffee I bought yesterday from the supermarket. Yes, it works. It's good. The last exercise, it is eight. Mom is very fruitful. She has got a few children. So here, we see children, the noun. This noun, it is in the plural. Because in the singular, we say a child. So the plural of a child is children. But here we have a few. Mom is very fruitful. It is ambiguous. This, uh, this sentence, it is ambiguous because she is fruitful and she, ha got, she has got a few children. Now, so here, the best answer is many. Many. It is many. So here we have mom is very fruitful. She has got many children. Okay, so this is the correction. To save the time for time saving, instead of writing all this, you can write as simple as you can see. One is few, two is many, three, three is boys, here, four, a little, uh, five, much, six, much, and many, because here we have two mistakes. And the seven, number seven, we have little. Eight, we have many. Thank you very much for your watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.